Herbalife Nutrition Presents Times Now Summit, co-powered by GE, driven by Maruti Suzuki, state partner, government of Andhra Pradesh, e-mobility partner, Electra Green Tech, door-to-door -door express partner, Ohm Logistics, associate partner, Indian Oil Corporation, associate partner, Life Insurance Corporation of India, state partner, government of Uttarakhand. Padmita Joshi, Times Now has been a front runner in not just bringing the news that matters to a nation on the rise, but also in bringing about tangible change with its editorial focus across its platform. Right. You know, Padmita, Times Now Summit is a manifestation of that very ethos. Absolutely. It was launched in 2020, and Times Now Summit has established its credentials as the forum where India's national agenda gets shaped. The inaugural edition was graced by our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, and both the first and second edition of our summit saw the biggest voices and leading policymakers and influencers from across the globe come together on this one platform, Aisha, the Times Now Summit. Absolutely. In fact, today, the world finds itself at a critical juncture. I think we should just wait for everyone to be seated. It's a, it's a request to everyone in the audience. Can you please uh, be seated? We have the Home Minister in the House in just a few minutes from now. It would be uh, desirable for all of us to be seated by them. And that will also expedite that we stick to program. You have to understand we are bang in the middle of election season. So all of our guests are very, very busy. And we need to stick to schedule. If we can just have everyone seated, please. And of course, needless to say, your mobile phones on silent. Okay, so I was saying, Padmaja, <laughs> that today the world finds itself at a critical juncture. You know, we are buffeted by challenging headwinds, we're dealing with a wavering dollar, an inflationary economic paradigm, very volatile food prices and also an unpredictable war, rising geopolitical tensions, which are all leading to a world order and myriad local challenges. However, against this backdrop, India continues to march forward with historically enviable global respect, exemplary neighbor relations, and of course, a very robust democracy and a very resilient economy. What's more, India's federal structure remains strong each Indian state is now working to strengthen the national agenda, and all these factors only come together to make the vibrant democracy of India a global bright spot. Which is why, ladies and gentlemen, this year, Times Now Summit puts the spotlight on India, a vibrant democracy, global bright spot. And we've seen it through multiple engagements that India as a country has had at uh, international platforms. We're second to none. We are walking along with all the global democracies, shoulder to shoulder, looking them in the eye. And that's why over the next two days, we have over 30 sessions. You will be privy to union ministers, chief ministers, opposition leaders, influencers, global leaders. And all of them will be engaging in a dialogue on multiple issues that are of importance to India as a country. And it's important to how our stature is rising globally and of importance to you as a citizen of this great country. In fact, you know, Padmaja, the power pack lineup of speakers, and ladies and gentlemen, you may want to focus here, over the next two days, uh, includes none other than uh, Minister for Home Affairs, Amit Shah. We'll also have Minister for External Affairs, Dr. S. Jayashankar, Minister for Textiles, Commerce and Industry, Piyush Goyal, Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Youth Affairs and Sports, Anurag Thakur, Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas, Hardeep Singh Puri. Minister for Railways, Communication and Electronics and IT, Ashwini Vaishnav. Minister for Women and Child Development, Smriti Irani. Minister for Law and Justice, Kiran Rijiju. Minister for Environment and Climate Change, Bhupinder Yadav. Minister of State, Road, Transport and Highways, General VK Singh. Chair Global uh, Governance Forum and former head of Trends World Bank, Augusto Lopez Claros, Chief Minister Uttarakhand, Pushkar Singh Dhami, Chief Minister Assam, Himant Biswa Sharma, Chief Minister Goa, Pramod Savan, the CEO of Niti Ayo, Parveshmaran Ayer, Member PMEAC, Sanjeev Sanyal, amongst others.